Cowrie's letter. Hey you! I mean, dear Kosei. You were just here and now I'm writing you a letter. Kinda weird, right? You're a mess. You know that? You are meek. And a quitter and neurotic. The first time I ever saw you, I was five years old. It was at the recital for the piano class I went to back then. You marched out to, onto the stage and then made us all laugh by knocking over the bench. You sat on the giant piano and with the first note you played, the world became more colorful. It was just like you found in the locks, box of crayons in the keys and tossed them everywhere. Suddenly, the girl next to me starts bawling her eyes out. And now you're gonna give it up like you never played in the first place. Hearing you that day changed my life. What do you think of that? So I switched then and there. No regrets. When I found out we were at the same middle school, I was thrilled. How I was actually supposed to meet you though? Buy egg sandwiches every day till you notice me? In the end, all I could do was watch you guys. You were friends and I was some stranger. It wasn't my place to march in so I didn't. I had a surgery as a little kid, but I've never been totally well. After a bad fall in the 7th grade, I was in the hospital a bunch. Those hospital stays got longer bit by bit. I was hardly ever at school by then. Nobody said how sick I was exactly, but I knew it was bad. Then one night, I saw my mom and dad crying down in the lounge when they thought I was asleep. That's when I knew I didn't have much time. I made my choice. I ran and I didn't look back. I started living exactly how I wanted so I would not be mopey in heaven. Contacts are weird, but I tried them. Tried eating a whole cake by myself too because why not? Music that used to boss me around? I played it in my way. And then I told one single lie. Are you ready for it? Here it comes. Kari likes Watari. Shocking, right? But I'm glad I told it. After all, Kose, that lie brought us together. Please tell Watari I'm sorry. Honestly, though, I'm sure he's moved on to some other girl by now. That's just who he is. When it comes to friends, he's a great guy, but romantically, I want someone sincere. Also please tell Subaki that I'm sorry. It turns out I was just passing through. I didn't want to leave a big mess behind. So I could not be totally be honest with her either. Think of it. Hey Subaki, be a pal and introduce me to Arima, would ya? That's a mess up thing for me to ask for. I mean, everyone could tell that Subaki was crazy about you. Even before we were friends, I knew. The only ones who didn't get the memo were you and her. When my life finally brought the two of us together, you were different than I had imagined. Stubborn and passive and pessimistic. Not to mention the fact that you stole my leggings. Your voice was lower than I thought. You were a guy, you know. And you were gentle. No surprise there. And remember we jumped off that bridge? The river water felt amazing. And the moon shining down at the music room. Like we could grab it on our tiptoes. When we raised that chain, I really thought we could win. Singing, twinkle, twinkle, little star. The late at night felt kind of perfect. Being at school after dark is mysterious, right? And snow, it looks like cherry blossom petals. You must think I'm silly. Finding wonder in the everyday things around us. Things I saw with you. Isn't it funny how the most unforgettable scenes can be so trivial? And vice versa? So, what's the verdict? I was able to live inside someone's heart. 
and this heart it wouldn't happen to be yours would it do you think that you remember me a little from time to time no hitting the red set button don't you forget me that's a promise okay i'm glad we found each other i will reach you i hope i can here's the truth kase i love you i love you i love you sorry that i never ate those canelas that and that i beat you up so much i was such a brat to you i'm sorry for everything thank you giving you one of my favorite pictures you don't have to keep it but i hope you do